Puerto causing little physical damage to our area, but local marine life officials are trying to determine how the storm impacted sea turtles one month into nesting season. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us now live from Coquina Beach to share how the nest weathered the storm there. Erica. Good evening. This is one of five sea turtle nests within just a couple feet of me here on Coquina Beach. Researchers say subtropical storm Alberto didn't cause too much damage, but there are some legs that eggs that could be on the sand. And if you do see those marine life officials stress, do not touch them. When nature comes along and takes our nest, we're prepared to say to nature, OK, we'll give you one or two. There's a few less sea turtle nests along 12 miles of Manatee County and 35 miles of Sarasota County shoreline. The culprit, subtropical storm Alberto. The surf was still rougher than normal, so we're seeing some impacts on the beaches. Researchers with Anna Maria Island Turtle Watch and Moat Marine Laboratory are monitoring local beaches to analyze the damage. Moat senior biologist Melissa Bernhard says it can be detrimental when beaches experience flooding, but most nests were only washed over by the surf. They can tolerate being underwater for short periods of time, um, so we'll leave them there. It's actually more de detrimental at that point for us to try to move them out of the way. But it's important to be vigilant while on the beach, especially after big storms. The stakes around some sea turtle nests were washed away by the storm, but the eggs could still be underneath. We were called back out and they said, we found a nest and it's not marked. There, lo and behold, there were the eggs. But some of the nests were washed out completely, bringing the eggs above the sand surface. It's a federal offense to touch those eggs. Susie Fox with the Anna Maria Island Turtle Watch recommends burying them in the sand. It probably will not hatch, but that way that egg still has good viable nutrients and bacteria in it, and they're going to help grow our sea oat. The number of sea turtles and nestlings continues to steadily rise, with figures increasing since the mid-80s. Officials credit the improvement to considerate beachgoers. We want to bow down to the public and tell them to keep going, keep taking care of their sea turtle nests, and keep falling in love with the sea turtles. Now both Anna Maria Island Turtle Watch and Moat Marine Laboratory are out tallying the number of nests impacted by the storm. Moat says that sea turtles have adapted to the storms that roll through the area, and that's why they lay about 100 eggs six separate times per season. So if a storm rolls through, not all the eggs will be impacted at once. Reporting live on Coquina Beach, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.